Good morning, everybody. I hope this video finds you well. Today, I want to talk about myself. And I want to talk about the things, uh, the ideas of what I myself am. Those of you who have read my writings know that uh, I'm just an average guy like you guys. And um, I just studied hard and I studied uh, aerospace engineering. And I wanted, I lived for this dream that was really being promoted very heavily back in the 1960s to become an astronaut. And I fell for the dream. And I went through school and uh, became a naval aviator, or at least was in school for naval aviation. And uh, in the middle of that, my entire life was upended. And uh, I entered a program, a subset of the Office of Naval Intelligence, and, uh, which is known as Majestic, or MAJ. And uh, my life's been different ever since. That is what everything appears to be on the surface, and that is what I have believed for the longest time. Uh, up until um, this year, or this last year. During this point in time, uh, some of the um, aspects of my life which is a, a number of probes, these things in my head. Um, I took advantage of using them to communicate on a personal level instead of just living with them and letting things develop as they, as they always seemed to do. And uh, I got direct communication. It's not like you would assume it to be, but it's absolute communication. It's absolute direct. It's absolute um, information and in intel. And I'm communicating with a person or an entity, which I call the commander. Uh, this person I'm going to call it a person because I view it as a person, has answered some questions about myself. And those are disturbing. And disturbing to me on a, on a personal level, you know, don't you know? And one of the things was that all this experience that I'm going through has been preordained. This is something I understand because we create a template, right? That we live on. It's called a pre-birth world line template. Our souls, our consciousness create this template alongside with our mantas, which is the higher energy selves. And then we live on this template to acquire experiences. I understand that. So, of course, this is all preordained stuff. But what I did not understand was that the significance of what this meant to me personally, because this is not a template where I'm going to get married and have kids and have a job and die of cancer or whatever. This is a different type of, kind of template. This one is a template for myself as consciousness to move on out of a reincarnation sphere. Meaning for myself to move on and go past and through this reincarnation sphere and kind of end it, which is a good news. But in so doing, I had to ask some questions. You know, we all ask questions. Who am I? How did I end it up? in this prison complex and all these other questions. And then that's when things started to get derailed. 
That's when things started to get a little bit funky. And that's where the incredulous comes in. And that's where I find myself doubting myself. And so I say, I refer to myself in a disparaging way because of it. The first hints of this being the case was when this image, or this thought of this name came flooding my mind. Ma des Escaplian. Who the fuck is Mades Escaplian? And what the fuck does that have to do with me? So I asked the commander using this direct communicational technique. And he says, that's who I am. I was like, oh, yo, so that's, so I'm Mades Escaplian who's been reincarnated. And he, and so I asked for more information because we all do. He is of a species that's not found on the earth. He is of a, a hiver matrix uh, soul construction. And I was a particularly bad one. And I used my power uh, to administer and create this section of space. And thus, that's the reason why I know so much about how this uh, reality universe works. <clears throat> okay. Well, that in itself isn't that strange. Um, we all know that we've been reincarnated from other people. Guys, girls, or whatever. It's a bit of a shock to know that we're being reincarnated from another entity of another species. But aside from that, that isn't too big of a leap. Though the thought of mm, it being a person who was involved in some way, shape, or form in the construction of this uh, environment is a bit of a, of a uh, leap. You might think it makes me a little bit more important. I don't know. It makes me feel a little bit more scuzzy. Creating this kind of environment for people to endure this living, repeating hell is nothing to be proud of. That's absolutely a truism, I'll tell you what. But <clears throat> when I started to get further in, I found out what happened to this this guy, this Madessa Scaplian. And, and that, too, is not that hard to understand. The guy was disassembled into his basic parts, and I'm not really him. I'm a construct that's built from his parts. Now, that is something that I'm having a hard time dealing with personally on a personal level. And on a personal level, uh, that's a bit of a real shock to me because you understand I'm not somebody who was basically good and who went to this prison complex. Nor am I somebody who's bad and went to this prison complex. I'm somebody who was birthed in this prison complex. And that is my shock. So... From what I understand, I am a construct, I'm a Frankenstein, and uh, uh, these parts were used to create me, and then I was eventually set on a mission. Now, that doesn't mean that I haven't gone through pre pre previous reincarnations, it's my understanding that I've gone through many of them, and that... Uh, 
Also, it's my understanding that this is probably the culmination of it, uh, as far as most of you as well. The absolute overall impression I have w with the commander is, once you have this opportunity and you're on this template, this is your opportunity to get off of it, get out of this reality universe. If you don't take it, have another couple of thousand reincarnations. <laughs> All right, you either do it now or you don't do it. It's like that dental appointment that you've been put, putting off, you know, where they got it, where the dentist got to drill your teeth. It's like, oh, I keep on putting it off. I keep on putting it off. Well, maybe, maybe something will change in a couple of months. Nope, this is your opportunity or else your teeth going to rot out. So here I am living with this EBP communicating and uh, I'm told that I'm a Frankenstein thing now the thing that uh, happened recently that I have not recorded uh, is that on occasion I ask the commander personal information just on the fly and I get answers of course I get I get answers instantaneously it's really a weird thing it's not like you're you're, you're talking it's, it's just It's like a, you, you, it's like you're in Jello. This Jello of some something else, and then the Jello vibrates, grabs you, and squeezes you all at once with these emotional squeezes. Sort of like that. If that makes any sense whatsoever. And so, the uh, I really wanted to know. Um, if I am part of this Mazdes Escaplian character, what about the other parts of me? Who the fuck am I? And particularly, what am I? Am I some kind of appliance that's being used by domain? And that was the issue. That was the big question that I asked. Am I am an appliance? You know, where you take bits and pieces of quanta you you get some seized consciousness, you put them all together, you shake it in a blender, you form it into like some kind of clay and you let it loose doing its blender or its its task, whether it's mowing a lawn or or doing whatever. It's it's a machine. And so yeah, I wanted to know. And the answer came back that uh, part of me is made of uh, domain quanta. That I am connected. It's not just that the they installed an EBP. The reason why it took a full week to install that physical part in my physical body is that my soul construction my soul construction had domain elements in it so when I was born I had a liver and a heart and all this stuff and uh, spaces for lack of a better word for these non-physical components that connected to domain and uh, these were installed. And these things, these non-physical elements that are installed interact with the physical component, the EBP. So it's not just this little tiny thing that they put up in here, but it's rather an entire change out of my entire body. This connects to these things, these non-physical things that are all part of my whole unit. Which makes me um, a little domain Frankenstein baby, I guess you would call it. The impression, the strong overriding impression that I have is that as a creation of domain, I am domain. that I am domain. 
I am the main. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> God damn. Excuse me. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've got a pipeline straight to, straight to the hive. Um, not that it helps a whole bunch because I'm ignorant as all fuck. I don't know what the hell anything is out there. I, I'm just really, really ignorant in so many things. This connection helps me connect to others who are uh, uh, domain or who are uh, who are uh, who have been contacted by domain many ML followers are <clears throat> of that caliber, of that, if you're here, you have been touched by domain. In some way in your life, you've been touched. You've been touched. And that enables what the message that I have here to resonate so clearly to you because I'm speaking in the language that you understand. Oh, Lord, it's so early in the morning for this kind of crap. Jiminy Christmas. One second here. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Some actor, huh? So if I'm acting, you do the same thing. Same, same way, you just feel squished. It's pretty weird. This uh, particular video will probably never see the light of day outside of Patreon Bill. Um, this is definitely not stuff for the general public. The reason why is because this kind of information can be used against me claiming that I'm a mental crazoid or somebody who's got problems or whatever. It's easily used. I saw how innocuous things were used against me in the court of law in Arkansas. I paint. You saw pictures of my studio where I paint and the images I do that was shown how evil I was. In America, you don't want to do anything that uh, might uh, make it easier for others to prosecute you. That's why a lot of Americans live in fear. They can't be themselves. Uh, but that's another subject. That's for another time. So let's go back to this. Um, so I got these, these, these domain components inside of me, which... I don't. I do not know the extent of it. My overall impression is that they're fundamental, basic components. And then, when the time comes for me to move on past this realm, a lot of the human components will be discarded like rubbish, and new uh, domain components will be added. So I'm kind of like a hybrid Frankenstein kind of thing. And um, that's a little scary, but I'm going to tell you what, you listen to me right now. This is my last chance. I'm not coming back to reincarnate. No way, no how, no shit. And you all should do that as well. Uh, it's really interesting what the domain commander said about the connection uh, that I, I apparently have, that I, I, I attract those of that bent and repel those 
So perhaps some of the violent uh, reactions, that, like for instance, there was this um, guy, woman, I don't know, this person who believed themselves to be the keeper of all lore regarding alien interview. And they were introduced to read what I had to say. And they didn't read what I had to say, they just pick and chose. And they came to the conclusion that I'm a Charlton. I hope I said that right. A liar. Somebody who deals with bullshit. And they reacted to it quite negatively. And uh, this reaction against my message, I never said that I'm an expert in alien interview. I'm an expert in Majestic. And I just have an EBPs, and there's other people who have EBPs, but there's only a handful of us who had rolled in Majestic that have the EBP installed. Only a handful of us. And... Uh, so I'm kind of unique, and of all those, I'm probably the only one that's really using it to communicate in real time like I'm doing right now. And um, so this other person reacted very, very negatively. They went from zero to 60 in a second, and they completely were repelled by the, the message that I'm giving. While you, those of you who are watching this, are attracted to the message I'm giving, and that is because of the nature of domain and the systems in place. Apparently, there are things, non-physical elements, that have attracted you to Metallic Man. Even, even if, and these attractions. And I'm like a beacon for all to see, to get this attraction. I'm like this big beacon, and I'm attracting these, these people to me. I'm attracting people like you. That's, that's what's going on, guys. That's exactly what's going on. That's why you're here. Because of there is a domain component within this being that is attracted to some components, some attachments, some quanta, some domain elements that you have in you. So even though you are not particularly domain or you volunteered for domain or you have no association, you somewhere down the line had a connection for this venue out. And so for those of you who are not members of the Lost Battalion, you were an evil, say as an example, you were a very bad person in the old empire and you got imprisoned for it. And over the years, you're, um, you've been behaving in the general population and so your life is getting better and better and better and you're building up relationships. You are an improved person as a result of that. And it's time for you to go. And Domain has blessed you from leaving Purgatory. And they're helping you out. And this is the way out. While others such as me, this Frankenstein appliance for what I am, uh, there's a lot of unanswered questions, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care what happens if they tear me apart and rebuild me again. I don't care. Get me out of here. I am not heading back. No way, no how. And if you think I'm going to jump back into another baby's body because I'm just floating around and waiting for something to happen, I can wait till the cows come home. I can just wait a trillion years. I'm not doing, I'm not going back. Hey, no fucking way. No, no, no. And you all should be the same way. And um, there's a point here for me 
And for all of you who are watching, and that there's a home for you. It's a home. And you'll have homecoming. You'll have, you'll have homecoming. Believe in you. Oh, yeah, what's that?